Hey, Dan here with Sprouts Greens and more. So I'm gonna make this a really short video. So I had planted out the broccoli bed. There was some plants that I got from my buddy from the nursery. And we got it all planted out and I'm just gonna show you real quick the bed. And you can see the whole bed. And I planted them under the purple tree collars. Now, there's two things going on with this bed right now. For some reason, this winter, it hasn't been really, really cold. And we've had some aphid problems. So, I hate to do it, but I'm probably going to have to grab the organicide, grab my sprayer. I'm an ex-painter, so I use the paint sprayer to spray when I do have to spray. And I'm probably going to spray this bed right now. If you do have to spray, you should do it when the plant is young without fruit on it. And the reason being is that it gets into the fruit or the vegetable and then you're eating that. And I'm, I'm big on washing my vegetables anyway, but I try not to spray. I try to stay organic. And the spray I'm gonna use is Organicide and it's Omri approved and it is organic pesticide. But I'm not 100% when it comes to companies saying it's 100% organic. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's got, if it came out of the, if it's fish oil, the, how do they know the fish is organic so anyway here is the plant i pulled it up something ate the top off my cauliflower now if you look over here that's a that's a cauliflower and that's a broccoli and they haven't touched the block broccoli but they definitely took the snowball cauliflowers and they ate them up i mean they ate them they basically ate them all up so i'm going to show you like we're just going to pull them out so they ate that one it's gone like and i don't know i think it's a grasshopper you guys and they ate this one so i really don't think they're gonna I really don't think they're going to produce them. What was sad was I planted these a couple weeks ago, and look, they're already taken off. And so the ones that have tops on them, I'm going to leave them. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab the fabric cloth. And I guess I should have just kept it laid down. And I have this fabric cloth. And it's really thin. Like you can literally see my hand through it right there. So, so I'm going to lay the fabric cloth over the raised bed. And then, and I'm going to go get one because I got one that I rolled up. So I'll go get that one. And then I'll lay it over the raised bed. And all you're going to do is just lay it over the vegetables. And I'm going to show you guys right now. And that's it. And that should keep the bugs off the plant. Because you can see over here, like if I roll this all out, and this one got all beat up. But if you cover the plant, then the bug, hopefully it's not still in there. Now, if they're still eating it up, why, why, it's, in, why it's covered, then I have another problem besides grasshopper. I have a bug actually in there and eating but it ate all the tops off most of the cauliflower it did not touch the broccoli like i said so anyway a little preventive maintenance i have some cauliflower i started some trays so i'm just gonna plant the babies in here and cover them and i'm gonna keep them covered until established because once the cauliflower pops then the grasshopper doesn't, he want, he'll eat the leaf, but I've never seen one take the tops off. So I don't know, it might be my dog. <laughs> Maybe my dog went in there and said, oh, cauliflower, because he does eat leafy greens. But I think I have a, I think I have a, a vicious grasshopper. 
or maybe a gopher maybe a gopher so that is vicious like something just snapped the top right off that and i don't think you're gonna get a cauliflower out of that at this point so we're gonna pull the ones with the tops off we're gonna replant some new ones i'm gonna cover it with some fabric cloth and organic preventive maintenance so instead of running and getting a full piece i just made this little piece work right here because i'm so tired <laughs> like like and i just made sure that you know i didn't cover up my garlic i got some garlic that i put it in the um cinder block and you can kind of see them right here i think and this is kind of a cool thing when you use cinder blocks you can just plant in the little holes and i'm probably going to put some more garlic in these that were in the new lettuce bed that i started and i'll fill them up with some compost and i have some right here actually and then get the get the weeds again get the get the weeds out you guys because if you don't stay up on the weeds they'll just take you over and what happens is the weed starts dropping seed and now you have weed seed everywhere not that kind of weed uh you have like grass seed and all that so. and then i just kind of fill them up a little bit but i just wanted to show you the the fabric cloth it's real simple you can actually do wire and do a wire hoop and then put it over and then stake it down but i do things real simple around here and it doesn't have to be perfect I have so much garden, it ain't gonna matter. And as you can see, I have taken it all out. And the reason being is I ended up getting a little rodent. And you can see my video camera up here. And it's to keep people from doing stupid stuff pretty much. But anyway, I pointed it on this bed because I was like, well, that's a mean mean ass grasshopper if it's doing that so it's not a grasshopper it's some kind of rodent and i got him on the video and i'm going to put it on the end of this video hopefully if i can get off my security camera and we'll, we'll check it out <laughs> so i basically went through and i pulled them all out and he got everyone he ended up getting the cauliflower first and you'll see the front of the video and then he went into the broccoli and he just check it out he just chewed them off and there was like there was like 20 of them i actually bought them from my buddy that owns the nursery and so pretty much wasted 20 bucks well not waste i guess we fed the I think it's either a mole or a gopher. It might be a rat. Sometimes I get some big mice back here, you know, because they, they're scavengers. And I try to eliminate them, if you know what I mean, but sometimes it's hard. So I just wanted to show you what they did to the bed and what happened to the bed. And it just didn't make it. And unfortunately, sometimes things like that happen. And you just don't want to give up. You just want to pull it out and start over. It's not a big deal. <laughs> it was kind of funny because I come back here and I was like, what the hell ate all my broccoli and cauliflower? And I think it might be a gopher. And I might try to poison him or trap him, actually. And then, and then um, see if I can get him. But we are going to eliminate him because, and what's weird is I have broccoli up front and he hasn't touched that and that had the broccoli on it. And it's like once it got the, the big fruit on it, it doesn't seem like unless he's just hanging back here and just eating what's back here, but he's not touching the tree collier. You can see the tree collier behind me. He never touched that. So I'm going to try to get it off my video, my uh, security camera. Because my wife goes, oh, there he is. 
Ain't he cute? I said, yeah, he's real cute. All right. <laughs> Eating all my damn broccoli. <laughs> and my cold flour. I think I had some Romesco in there too as well. Some hybrid stuff. But... Okay, so I run up my video camera. And I was having trouble playing the camera back. So what I'm going to do is just kind of zoom in. You can see my my screen actually here. And then I found the culprit on eating all my broccoli. Because first I thought it was a grasshopper. And then I covered it and I went out there in the, the cloth. And see, there he is. <laughs> you can see him right there. He's the culprit. He's right there. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. He's just sitting there. But you can see him. And he's only in the picture for a minute. But we'll kind of videotape him. And I don't think it's a rat. I think it's a gopher. And you can see him moving. And I do have him sped up on the camera at times too. Because he just sat there for a long time and you can see him. There he is. And then he goes, he goes all the way across for the broccoli bed. Was. And he ate that thing down in like a week. And then you can see him, he's like, he's inside the fence now. And then the little lights you see going by are cars going by the street. And then he's going to jump, oh see, and he's like, well let me go down here and get a little snack today. And this is right when it got dark, so like, as soon as it got dark, he was there, see, watch him. Uh-oh. And he takes the, there he's got his little leaf, his broccoli leaf, and he took off with it. He, I think he comes back one more time and gets it. But I think he likes the broccoli leaf, see him? Oh, he's got the broccoli leaf. He's chomping on it. He says, mmm, this is so good. He might be a rat, but I think he might be a gopher. And I got him zoomed in here. So we can zoom out, and there he goes. And that was done. And he definitely came back later that night and ate... There's a broccoli over to the side there that was still standing and he ate it down to the ground. So, so we found the little culprit and, and we're going to rip all that out and plant probably spinach there. So I'm Dan from Screens and More. Please like the video. Tell me if you have pests in your garden and what you do about it. And if there's a humane way to address them. But I just hate rats and mice. <laughs> so I kill them. <laughs> but let me know. Please like the video. Give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the video. And share it with all your friends. And peace. I'm out of here. And we'll see you on the next one. And you guys have a great day. Alright, bye.